Okay, um, I had a question from a viewer um, about a specific, uh, a specific circuit, which we'll get to a little bit later. But let's go ahead with the basics first and get us used to the idea, and then we'll talk about the circuit that he had a question with. So the, the first circuit that we're going to start with here is a precision rectifier or a peak detector circuit or whatever you want to call it. It's a diode with a op amp wrapped around it. So ignore this part over here and ignore the diode for a second, and it's just a unity buffer, right? The plus input and the minus input, the, the, the output and the minus are tied together. So that's just a unity buffer. But we're gonna put a, um, a diode in here, so only positive things get to go out, okay? And uh, that is like a regular diode, like in a power supply where you're rectifying it, so any AC signal gets turned into just the, 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 the positive peaks, and then you usually catch that on a capacitor, and so this is a peak detector circuit, and then um, the capacitor would just hold it forever, so there's usually a little bleed resistor here, so that's usually the way it's worked, it's used in a circuit, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to be using this messy breadboard here, but I'll just, uh, I'll, 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 I'll show you in the, uh, the oscilloscope uh, screen capture so you can see what's going on. So, uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the input, okay? So you can see here the input is the yellow trace and we're just putting in a, uh, a sawtooth wave, okay? And uh, let me put in uh, the uh, blue trace which is going to be the output and you see the output is going to be only the positive things, right? Anything that's negative won't make it through this diode and you can see from the picture here that the blue trace goes from ground, so, so the, the yellow trace is plus and minus voltages, and so only the plus voltages come out, right? So you get the little peaks, and then it's just flat, and you get the little peak, and it's flat. So that's the way, that's the way this is generally used. Now, what we're looking at is uh, this much of the circuit, uh, let's see, this much of the circuit right now, okay? And so if we wanted to detect those peaks, we would put in a capacitor. So let me... Let's see here. Let me hold in a capacitor in the circuit while you guys watch. Um, let's see. The ground is here. And then if I touch it here, yeah, you can see that we're, we're rectifying the signal, right? So that the capacitor is catching all those peaks. Um, and uh, so that makes, that makes total sense. All right. So uh, let's talk about a different circuit then. Um, this one's going to look a little strange. All right, so this next circuit is just going to be an inverting amplifier. If I tie these two together, this is an inverting amplifier. I have a 10K, 10K, so it's going to be a gain of negative one. And uh, so everything should look... Um, should look familiar if you're look at inverting amplifiers, okay? But what we're going to do is we're going to put a, a diode here, okay? So once again, we're only going to let out positive things, all right? So that's this is a little bit stranger, okay? So uh, let me uh, let me get that hooked up. Okay, so once again, we're going to look at the uh, we're going to look at the output. And uh, this output looks a little odd. Um, it's capturing the peaks for sure, but it's also inverting the negative peaks. So how is it working both positive and negative when we have a uh, when we have a diode on here? That doesn't that doesn't make any sense. Okay. Um, well, it's a bit of a tricky circuit. Um, if the diode is in there, then we understand the positive side of things, but what about those negative side of things? When negative voltage goes through this thing, um, then it gets turned into a positive thing, right? So negative on the input is positives on the output. So it's the negative part of the waveform that gets, that gets, put, that gets put up. But it's the positive part that should end up being a negative part that shouldn't make it through, okay? But this diode is a little bit leaky because there's nothing uh, uh, there's nothing really stopping it there's nothing loading it down I should say on on the output right so uh, let's see if we can't load it down 
Okay, so I've added a resistor to load it down. Now you can see this acting, it's acting better. If I increase the, uh, if I increase the value of that resistor, then now, now it looks more like what you're used to. It's only going to conduct um, in one direction and not the other direction. And it's when we remove this uh, load. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm putting a load to ground here. Okay. So that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm adding, I'm adding resistor to ground here. And when I do that, then this thing can only really conduct current in the, in, in the plus direction and the negative direction, it gets to ground. And then it just, it just kind of stops. It doesn't know how to go any, doesn't know how to go any farther than that. All right. And, um, so if you use, use this in a high impedance, um, circuit though, then you would get this cool waveform where it's uh, everything is folded up into positive space. So that's, that's kind of a cool thing to do. All right. So that means without this resistor or high value resistor, right? Okay. So this is the circuit that, uh, the viewer was interested in. Um, it is, uh, 100K, 100K, uh, 10K, 10K should be about the same. So 10K, 10K we have in here. And we have this diode in here, but this one has an extra diode. It has this diode. So right now we're looking at everything without that diode, okay? That has this funny diode. It has this funny diode inside there, okay? So um, what would that diode do? Well, remember when we have, when we have negative things here, the negative things gets turned into positive things. But if we have positive things that get things get turned into negative things, and if the output tries to go negative, then this diode kind of acts as a clamp and won't let it go negative. Okay. And so, oh, sorry, just dropped that on the floor. Let's see if I can get that little diode in there. He's kind of hard to, uh, he's kind of hard to get in my circuit. Okay, so I've just put in this, uh, in this diode here, which goes from the negative to the positive. And now you can see the waveform is just like the original circuit I showed. Um, it's only allowing positive things to happen and not negative things to happen. All right. Um, so it's, it's, uh, if you just wanted the other one, then I don't know why, why do this? You could just do the other one. Um, uh, I, I don't know what benefit this one has over the other one. I've seen the circuit before, um, but that's basically, that's basically what it's doing. Um, it may be that this operates without a load on it. Remember the other one was kind of funny without a load. Um, and maybe this clamping diode allows this to hop operate into high impedance circuits. So that's probably what it is now that I think about it. It probably just keeps, it just makes sure that it, nothing goes in the other direction. Uh, only, only things come out, only one thing com, comes out on the side here. Um, so anyway, I hope that, I hope that helps the viewer. Um, this, this diode is just a rectifier diode, let positive things go through. And this diode is clamping uh, the, other, the other excursion. Uh, otherwise, uh, with a high impedance circuit, this thing is just gonna leak through and uh, Another way to think about it is you, there's just a path around here too, right? Um, for the other, uh, for the other way around. But, um, another thing that we can do, uh, which would be interesting is to remove this diode, which is now like this circuit. Okay. So let's go back to this circuit. All right. So remember that's, this is the waveform, right? The waveform is all positive. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that 10 K resistor to a zero K resistor. All right. And that should be interesting looking. So, all right. So I've just made this zero, zero ohms. And, uh, well, what's it look like? It looks kind of like the original thing. So lots of ways to, uh, lots of ways to, to build this circuit. Um, this one, uh, was done for a, um, uh, analog, uh, music synthesizer. I, uh, audio, audio synthesizer. 
and they were doing funny waveforms. So they were having uh, triangle waves, and then they were uh, flipping it down, and then adding them together. So you can see in the uh, uh, let's see, go back to their schematic. So they have a uh, they have a couple inputs, right? So they're mixing three things together into this uh, into this amplifier. So it's just a, a gain of one buffer, but it's a summer, right? It sums these things. Um, in and so it sums them together. They come in here. Uh, this one gets uh, rectified, uh, but then the original and the rectified one gets summed here, and so those get added together, and then it goes out into an amplifier with a clipper circuit. This is just just a maximum amplitude clipper circuit. So that's not doing things like these diodes. This is just a clipping circuit. Um, so uh, they can do where are those funny waveforms again. They can they can kind of get these things right if you have that originally, and then you make one of those, and then you add them together, you can get something like that. Um, so uh, that's, what this, uh, that's what this circuit is all about.